Ready, set, go. Hello everyone, I am back with another one of my what I eat in a day uh, videos things, kind of like a vlog type thing that like follows me through the day. Anyway, you guys seem to really enjoy the last one that I did and I got a lot of great positive feedback from you guys so I wanted to do another one and see if maybe we can make this maybe a monthly thing that I do or every so often kind of update you, you with some new recipe ideas maybe or something like that. It's really fun to film and I love cooking so kind of wanted to walk you through an updated what I eat in a day thing. Magic! So I start out my day with lemon water. That is my absolute favorite way to start the day. It just gives me so much more energy and I just, it just feels really good. Like I know it has a lot of detoxification properties to it. I fill it about halfway with hot water and then I fill it the rest of the way with cold water so it becomes warm. Science! And then on to caffeine because you guys know my day isn't started without my jolt of caffeine in the morning. So my Tasmo actually broke. It was like brewing cold coffee, but like not in the good like iced coffee way. It was in like the cold, diluted coffee kind of way. I'm not a person if I'm not caffeinated. What we ended up doing is actually getting a French press. And I had never had French press coffee before, and so we bought like um, just a local coffee places beans and we had them ground up in the store, which I know you should be getting like more coarser ground or like grind them yourself for like good fresh coffee but like we've never done this before so we're like yeah grind it up guys it is so good so i just put about like a heaping tablespoon or so into the french press and then put about a cup and a bit of water in and let it sit for about four minutes and then kind of press down on a little little thing and uh, then we have really good coffee and i put milk in that and then i put my um belgian chocolate toffee or belgian toffee, chocolate, I don't know, whatever, uh, creamer in it, and it is delicious. And then this morning I wanted to try out some new sort of egg recipes because eggs give you a lot of protein. Julia has been enjoying eggs lately and so I wanted to kind of make something that we could all eat together. And so I made these little like mini, I don't know, they're not quiches, they're like little mini egg omelets, muffin shaped omelets. I don't know the technical term. So basically I started with a pretty basic egg recipe. I threw in some eggs and some milk, salt and pepper, Pretty straightforward, standard stuff. And then you can basically throw in whatever you want. I personally put in asparagus and spinach. I put in some Parmesan and a little bit of aged cheddar as well. And then I sprinkled a little bit of ham on top of a couple of them just to kind of mix it up. So then I put them into muffin tins and it was just an easy way to kind of have them like thrown in the oven and then you don't have to worry about them and like flipping them and all that kind of stuff. So I just threw them in the oven 350 for about 20 minutes or so and then they were done. So they were really really good guys. You could have them with toast if you wanted. I just had them on their own with like avocado on the side. It's just really good with like salt and pepper. Have you guys ever done that? So good. Avocado is the best. Purolator's here. They're stopping. That means I have a package. I wonder what it is. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then for lunch we had homemade pizzas and by homemade I mean we basically made our own toppings but like we didn't make the actual dough itself. So I rolled out some dough and I put on top of it some tomato sauce as well as some pesto. I really love that combination on the dough itself. It just adds a really nice flavor to it and I prefer tomato sauce to like pizza squeeze. I don't know. It just taste better to me. Um, so we put that on the base and then we added tomatoes and basil and mozzarella and it was so yummy. So good. And I mean you really can't beat a pizza with fresh basil. Am I right? So delicious. I love the smell of basil. And the first snack I had some fresh avocados so I ended up making guacamole and this is one of my favorite recipes. It's really really easy, very simple to do but it tastes amazing guys. And what I do is I throw in some avocado and the best way to cut up an avocado is to cut it in half and then sort of create like slices down the middle and across so you're creating almost like a checkered board on it and then you just like pop it out of the skin and then it's like really easy and it's already like cubed for you makes it much easier to mash that way. So I threw in some tomato, a little red onion, and some pepper, and then I find that using a sea salt makes it just 10 million times better. So I sprinkle a little bit of sea salt in there as well, and then mash it all up, and then I have it with these tortilla crisps that I make. And they're basically just um, tortillas. 
as per the name. And you just take the tortillas and then you cut them in segments, so they're like little triangle things. Lay it out on a baking sheet and spray it with just plain olive oil. I have these like little air pump sort of spray bottles things that I got from the dollar store and I filled them with olive oil and so I sprayed them and then added a little bit of garlic salt on top and then toasted them in the oven for like five ten minutes or so and they're really really good with the guacamole I just find them more filling they're like sturdier so they can like hold up the guacamole without like breaking in half so yeah really delicious and then for dinner we made a new recipe which is um, sweet potato burritos basically and so what we did is we just lay out a whole bunch of tortillas and put some mashed sweet potato on top and then we made this like black bean mixture thing it's basically like a bunch of mashed black beans with like garlic and onion and you put in some water and then you add in some more black beans and a bunch of different spices and stuff and like stir it all up and let it simmer this is my simmer. Woo. So we threw the whole black bean mixture on top, added some cheese, chicken, you can add any sort of veggies and things if you want. Roll them all up, put some cheese on top, and then bake them in the oven, and they were really good, guys. Really big thumbs up. They're delicious. And then for dessert, because it is Easter coming up, I kind of ate a whole bunch of chocolate eggs. They're so tasty and delicious. So we had those out, so I was just eating a bunch of those. And uh, cookies as per usual. And that was it, that was my day of eating. I hope you guys found some inspiration for your own meals. I will put links to everything I possibly can or like write out the recipe for you guys in the info bar below in case you are interested. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these videos. It really helps me to better gauge on what type of content you guys wanna see more of. And that's everything for this video. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls, mwah! It is time for my March favorite, so without further ado, let's get into it. My hair now, guys. I like, I tried. I'm going with the whole like messy hair thing today. I'm gonna to pretend it was on purpose, but it was merely by accident. And by accident, I mean I did not wash my hair today.